Hey guys, Rangatang Staunch here. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than usual. I'm going to be eating eight really hot chili sauces on top of the world's hottest corn chips. Make sure you don't try this at home, and if you are ever eating chilies, make sure you don't touch your eyes or any other sensitive spots on your body while you have chili on your fingers. First off, these world's hottest corn chips, they contain Carolina Reaper, Scorpion Chili, and Jalokia, which is better known as Ghost Chili. Next off, we've got the Mega Death Sauce. This stuff is 650 times hotter than jalapenos. Next off, we have the Australian Cobra Chili Carolina Reaper Mash. So this is like 95% Carolina Reaper with a tiny bit of vinegar to stop it from going off. And it's just basically chili mash. It's just mashed up chili. It's barely even sauce. This stuff is off tap and it's all natural. It hasn't been chemically altered at all. I know the bloke who makes it, really good stuff. Next off, we've got this Zamfire reaper scorpion chili hot sauce so this is carolina reaper as well i actually reckon this has got a really big sting to it so this is going to be interesting to chuck on there as well next we have the detroit ghost pepper hot sauce this is actually made in community gardens in detroit so i'm excited to try that one then we have the cobra chili bubble gum so this is just like a little bit less than a ghost chili but really flavorful and still a lot of kick to it Next, we've got the Damon Stinger sauce. This was the first one to ever really sting me when I had it in a burrito before I even really tried chili. But this is going to be a nice one to chuck on there too for an extra burn. For our seventh sauce, we've got Bunster's Shit the Bed. This has got scorpions and bird's eyes in it. And for our eighth sauce, we've got Garlic Habanero. So this is getting to the other end of the spectrum where it's still hot but not as extreme as your reapers and stuff. I have been eating extremely hot chili regularly for over a year now, so I'm really excited to get this challenge going and see how I handle it. But the truth is I'm probably going to die and cry on camera, so let's get straight into it. Let's open up the box of our hot, hottest corn chips. Holy shit, there's a fucking heaps of these in here. Look. Let's make this interesting. I'm going to eat two different chips with four sauces on each chip. So the first chip, I'll do these four sauces that are weaker than the other four. And for our second chip, I'll have the four hotter sauces. So it's all building up. And I'll do it in quick succession too, just to make it exciting. So let's open these world's hottest chips. Okay, there's one. And two. Put them up here so you can see them on camera. And put these other ones over here. We might even do a third one. We'll do a third one as well. So I'll have one with no chili first. See how hot the chip really is, and then we can start really fucking setting it off. Okay, first off, garlic habanero. Thing is that we're going to have four sauces. I feel like that's a generous amount for our uh, each one. So I'll go ahead and we'll make this our weak one. Okay, there's our garlic habaneros done. Let's get some of this Bunster's shit the bed on there. We'll put a healthy amount of this one because I'm pretty excited to try this one, to be honest. Oh, it's very liquidy, this one. I think the weaker it is, the more liquidy. So we're going to go with about that much. And just splash that in there, I guess. Next up, we'll open the Damon Stinger sauce. And we'll do a healthy amount of the Damon Stinger. This one's a bit liquidy as well. Oh, fuck, that's a lot of sauce. Okay, so I've got like almost a teaspoon of this here. Oh, straight in there. Leaking off a bit, but what do you do? Okay, now we've got our bubble gum. Chuck a bit on there. This should actually be a bit. Yeah, so see, now that we're getting to the hotter sauces, it's going to be a little, little bit more clumpy, and it's actually going to be more mash than it is sauce. So we'll go and just chuck that whole big blob on there. And that's our first chip done. Now for our second chip. Go with the Zamfire Carolina Reaper sauce. Oh, 
that's not working. See, this stuff's going to be more mash as well. Here we go. Fuck, that's a lot. All right, that's what the gods gave me. That's what we get is that all that Carolina Reaper mash we're just going to chuck on there. Next up, we're going to go with the Cobra Chili Carolina Reaper mash. So this stuff is very, oh fuck, that's way too much. So this stuff is very clumpy as well. The Zamfire actually was more clumpy, believe it or not. So we'll go ahead and chuck that on there. And we're getting a really healthy blob of two different kinds of Carolina Reaper here. I'm trying to get a good so you can see that it's a lot. So now we're going to go with the Detroit Ghost Pepper Sauce. Give it a quick shake. I'm excited to try this one. So we've got a healthy blob of that as well. Beautiful. And lastly, the hottest, and you can see the different colour in there, I believe. Just like a dark red. Bit of shake. The Blair's Mega Death's Hot Sauce. Guys, I'm already sweating just from opening these and smelling them and shit. It's crazy. This is very liquidy, but I think it has been chemically altered. You can see the difference in the colour there as well. It is very red and very liquidy so you can see the difference in the color there as well so we'll go and put that on our last thing here and we're done just for a quick recap this chip here has got our four least spicy sauces on it that being the garlic habanero the bunsters shit the bed Damon stinger and the bubble gum by cobra chilies Second chip here, which is absolutely covered in chili, is the Detroit Ghost Chili Hot Sauce, Danfire's Carolina Reaper, Cobra Chili's Carolina Reaper, and Blair's Mega Death Sauce, which is just off the chain. And then I've got one other chip here, and all these chips are the world's hottest corn chips. So we're going to start with obviously just the chip by itself and we're going to do the chip with the least hot chili sauces and then to finish off we're going to do the chip with all the hottest chili sauces both Whoa. here we go it's hot it's tangy but nothing too crazy oh do this quick Second one, down the hatch. Still hot, and it's had all them sauces leaking through it. That is fire. Oh, shit, this one's going to kill me. Last one, chili sauce, all the crazy ones. Let's go. All gone. Fuck, it's burning. So, I start a timer on the phone, five minutes. Can't touch that milk for five minutes. Fuck, I can't see. Oh. Where's the timer? Stop watch, start. So I'll move the camera a bit closer so you can actually see how I'm handling it, I suppose. Move the shit out of the way a bit. Oh. Still a bit on the spoon. I suppose I'll lick that at the end or something. Okay, I'm watering from my eyes. Tongue's on fire. I want that milk. I'm sweating on my face, my breathing, 
here we go, it's not coming out. Oh, fuck. Oh. Fuck. Oh, it's shooting out of my nose. Fuck. Oh. Oh, we're up to one minute. I want to wipe my hands on my fucking face because I get chilly everywhere. Oh, no. Something's going on with me here. So, oh, no. Here we go. Camera's going off. Oh. Where's that paper towel? There we go, my mouse has stopped working now. Oh. No snotting on the mouse anymore. Oh, oh fuck me. Oh. Oh, just hit two minutes. Jesus, I want that milk. Oh shit, my throat, my throat starting to wear a headache. They say that chili is the number one leading cause of memory loss. I now see why. Oh. You need to regulate the breathing. Throat's on fire. I've got a kind of euphoria going through my head. I'm a bit dizzy. Fuck. We just hit three minutes. If it's any consolation, at least time's going quicker. I kind of feel Ooh, high or something. Ooh. Still, uh, there's still a lingering in my mouth. My bullets running down me on the sweat. Run all down my nose, you can probably see it now. The camera's not that good. Oh, I've got the dribbles. Oh. I feel worse than what I thought it was going to be. Oh. Nothing too unmanageable if you have been used to eating chili. In the next video, I'm going to try and get plutonium 500 or whatever that hottest one is. It's actually a solid, you've got to melt it down. Make it into a liquid to make it edible. Might do another top eight with that being the top one. And eat plutonium on these chips as well. And do another video if you like what you saw. Oh, please like and subscribe. We've got 30 seconds left. Fuck. The hotter the chili is, the longer it lasts too. So a lot of these chilies are going to last for about half an hour. I might leave it on, we're just about to hit five minutes, so I might leave it on for seven minutes so you get an extra two minutes of kind of seeing what this is like. So the peak is plateauing, at least like the, the worst is over with. I'm absolutely leaking snot and sweat. Look, bullets on my forehead of sweat. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have just touched my forehead with all the chili on my fingers, but too late now. We've got a minute 30 and then this milk is going to be my best friend.
Oh, to be honest, it's starting to come down on its own. Oh, it's hitting my guts. My guts are starting to burn. Tomorrow my urine's going to burn. Everything's going to burn. Oh. That was quite a lot of... Oh, what's it called? There's death source as well. That shit is just next level. It's pure liquid death. Oh. Okay. We've got 40 seconds left. Still there, but nowhere near as bad as it initially was. I'll try and get a HD camera for the next one so you can see a bit more of my uh, condition during this, but I feel like this has been a good video for the first one. If there's anything you want me to try as well, I'm more than happy to try any chilli sauces. Comment what you want to see me eat. We can pair them all up. I'll try and get 10 sauces on one chip if we can, or a couple of chips. If there's hotter chips you've found, let me know about those as well. Happy to try them. And we just hit seven minutes, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Um, it's been an absolute honor. And I've had a bit of fun doing this with you guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, so I turned it back on. I turned the stream back on because it just hasn't gone away. My whole face is burning, like my actual skin. It's all burning. I don't know if I because I touched the chili on my head or what. My nose, my skin, my eyes. The milk, if anything, is making the fucking burn come back in my mouth. But while it's in my mouth. Is soothing while it's there. Oh, my stomach's the worst part. Oh, my stomach feels so unwell, like I just want to vomit. Yeah, I don't know if you know much about chili, but ch spewing chili is the worst thing that you could ever fucking do. So oh, I'm just going to kind of wait this out. The mouth. The mouth is the main problem. As of this moment, all coming back. I feel like some of these chilies, because they are so hot, they get hotter as time progresses as well. Like, oh, fuck. around your teeth and your gums. Like even my breath, temperature of my breath feels hot. Oh, I don't feel well at all. Lightheaded. I left the timer going. We're sitting at around 11 minutes 13 from when I started it. Ooh. Might go just one more minute till it calms down. And then, yeah, I'm definitely going to... We have some ice cream or some carbohydrates. I'm the kind of get rid of it. Water is probably the worst thing you can have. It makes it worse. Oh. Oh. Usually I can't stand the taste of milk on its own, but right now I just don't care. So I don't think these chips are actually that hot. I think it was more the sauce, but it fucking added to it. Yeah, look. I don't think they were that hot. So we'll finish it off. Me eating one more of these. Good appetite. I actually like the flavour of this. It's actually nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they're not that bad. I need better hot chip. 
Anyway, guys, it's been fun. See you in the next one. The lesson learned is self acceptance. Like I want to face the world and leave myself defense. It's a wordsmith. I've been slaving like a young apprentice. Always wanted knowledge, but I'm never showing up to lectures. Fetches it. I'm building up the new defenses. Fences, but I'll never give you something senseless. Like